Heparin is a medication that every nurse, every medical professional needs to know. Its trade name is Heplock. You're going to refer to it as heparin. That's just simply how you're going to hear it. The reason we give heparin is to prevent venous thromboembolism, VTE prophylaxis and treatment. We can also give it low dose to ensure patency of IV catheter. So the way that it works is it actually increases the inhibitory effect of antithrombin on factor 10A. So with our clotting cascade, we have thrombin and we also have antithrombin. Antithrombin actually prevents the clotting cascade from actually occurring. So what happens here is we give heparin and heparin increases that inhibitory effect of antithrombin and specifically on factor 10A. Therapeutic class of heparin is anticoagulant. Pharmacologic class is antithrombotic. Biggest things to keep in mind here, guys, are that we need to monitor for signs of bleeding. If we see any petechiae or anything like that, we would want to assess and understand and recognize that that is a sign of bleeding. We also want to monitor our patient's platelet count. If platelet counts drop too far, the patient might go into these states where they are not able to clot at all. Uh, And so we really want to monitor that we're giving this, but we're not going too far with it. Heparin can also cause hyperkalemia. And we want to have the patient report any signs of bleeding, any coughing up blood, any peeing blood, uh, any of this petechiae, any, any redness in the eyes or anything like that would be signs that the patient might be bleeding. So heparin is given in the sub-Q tissue. The best place and the normal place that we a lot of times will give it will be kind of right around the belly button, about an inch outside the belly button in the love handles. We want to pinch up some fat, give it in the, in the subcutaneous tissue, which simply means fatty tissue. Any patient that's in the hospital, let me not say any patient, most patients that are in the hospital for more than a couple days will start taking heparin because we really don't want any VTEs, venous thromboembolisms, because what can happen with these is they can begin to travel through the system and they can get lodged in the in the neurovascular vasculature and cause a stroke or then get lodged in the heart and cause a heart attack. And so we really have to prevent this. They can also get lodged in the lungs and cause a pulmonary embolism. Okay. So we really have to prevent this, these deep tissue venous thromboembolism. And by preventing this, we keep the patient out of having one of these PEs, stroke, heart attack, uh, and we keep the patient healthy. So big thing to keep in mind here is these are not blood thinners, okay? These aren't blood thinners. They're anticoagulants. And so what they actually do is they prevent coagulation. They don't thin the blood. They prevent coagulation from occurring by increasing the effect of antithrombin. All right, so that's really important to keep in mind, uh, and that's heparin. You will give this medication, and it will really depend on, usually it's given about every eight hours in the hospital, so usually three times a day. A lot of times I saw it given twice at night shift, and usually 10 p.m., 6, p, 6 a.m., and then once during the day shift. So heparin really doesn't have a, a huge half-life, and that half-life, you know, we, that's why we give it, you know, the, the three times a day. We can also get a patient on a heparin drip. If a patient really needs anticoagulation, in, in a sense like uh, MI, we would put the patient on a uh, heparin drip, and we would draw serial PTTs, monitor what's going on. So PTT is the lab value we're going to run for a patient to determine what their bleeding time is when they're on heparin therapy. PTINR is going to be with warfarin coumadin, and PTT is going to be with heparin. The antidote for heparin is protamine sulfate. That's important to keep in mind because we can get our patients into a state that they are not clotting anymore. They, they're not clotting fast enough, and they may start to bleed. They may have bleeding intracerebrally or, or elsewhere. And so what we would give in those cases is we would give protamine sulfate, and protamine sulfate works as the antidote for heparin. So heparin, very important medication to keep in mind. You're going to see it a lot. Um, So that's everything that you really need to know the essentials. This has been another episode of the nursing.com MedMaster podcast. My name is John Hazar, CCRN alumnus, and I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's five zero nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.